What's the one type of beverage you think of when you think about gaming and gamers? What would you say? You know what I'd say? Energy drinks. You know, the stereotypical empty cans of Red Bull or Monster, Rockstar or similar just strewn across the desk. But in all honesty, how healthy is it to keep knocking back these types of sugary drinks? Well, it's not. There is just so much sugar in there. In one can of energy drink, you can find up to 27 grams of sugar. That's huge and according to the american heart association people should consume up to 37 grams of sugar a day for men and 25 grams of sugar for women so if you're knocking back those 27 gram cans of energy drink then uh, you're pretty much going to get to your daily allowance in no time at all there is a brand called beyond nrg which are changing the attitude towards unhealthy energy drinks with their lineup of sugar-free energy supplements and we've got a few different flavors here to put to the test plus their new vortex shaker which uses battery power to mix your drinks rather than the traditional shaking method that you'd usually find with fitness drinks so the vortex itself can hold up to 600 milliliters of liquid which for you british folk out there is just over one pint's worth the drinks are easy to make as well all they require is water and the beyond nrg powder and we were sent actually a multi-pack that holds 20 sachets or 20 servings loads of different flavors and a box of their brand new mortal combat inspired drink the blue raspberry lemonade of which you can find the ingredients here now i'm not going to pretend here that i know what it all means but I can see that there is a very little sugar at 0.2 grams, allowing them to attach their sugar-free badge to their drinks. The Vortex Shaker itself uses a technology that comes from Promix, and it's called the X-Blade, which is a small mixer that mixes the liquid automatically inside of the shaker. Now, it uses battery power, so no physical shaking required. And all seals are also leak-proof as well, meaning you can chuck the shaker into a bag and not be worried about your stuff getting wet. Now, on the side here, our measurements which will give you a rough idea on the dilution and how much liquid is actually in the shaker itself the actual shaker does feel very very robust to hold and the quality seems very very nice and solid so i think without further ado we've got to get on with testing some of the uh some of the flavors right so flavor time just got myself some water i've got up to the 500 milliliter mark uh, and what's nice about the actual lid itself is you put it on and you don't twist it the whole way, you kind of just lock it into position, right? So you, you put it on there, lock it up, and then that's not going anywhere. Uh, right, what flavor are we gonna be trying first? Open your sachet, cool death. Sachets are more plasticky than paper. You know when you expect it to be like a, oh, like a bag of dip dab or something. For, I'm not sure if the Americans, if Americans are watching this or anyone else around the world actually will know what a dip dab is. It smells all right. So, excuse me, put it in my drink. Empty out the sachet, put it in my drink, put the lid on, make sure it's tight because I'm in my lounge and I've just had my carpet done and I don't want it going everywhere. Let's give it a mix. It smells all right. Wow. Ooh, that's very sweet. It's quite nice. Oh, I quite like it. I don't know if I could have a whole pint of that. Maybe putting the 600 milliliters of, um, of, of liquid in there is, um, is a bit too much. So this time, I tested it in the kitchen because I, I didn't want any spill. So let's just get any excess water off of the outside. I'll show you a plain side. On the box here, it says add water, activate vortex, add powder. So I've just tried it in the kitchen. Let's find another flavor. Let's go with the orange. I like a bit of orange squash. So if you have a look at the drinks here, or the, the um, shaker, the mixer, it creates a little vortex like that <laughs> in, your, uh, in your drink, in, in the cup. I knew this was gonna be a bit of a messy video. Hopefully it doesn't spew out everywhere. Pour your powder in as so. 
goes a nice bl uh, I don't know, we'll just blood orange. I thought blood orange was a bit more red than that, but maybe maybe not. I put much less water as you can see in this as well. I've got 300 milliliters of water. Oh, this just smells like orange squash. Blimey. <laughs> oh, Christ. Loads of vitamins in there. Vitamin D, vitamin B6. Don't know if that's good for you. Vitamin B12, vitamin C, magnesium. It's got a, it's got a richer flavor than, than orange squash. This is quite... It's like a... a <laughs> this is going to sound really strange. But it's like... If you took orange squash and you diluted it with orange juice. That's what this reminds me of. It's like it's a very false flavor as well. But... That's, that's like an energy drink flavour, right? You're not drinking a monster and thinking, oh, this is refreshing. It's not a bad flavour at all. Very nice, it's very nice, actually. Hmm, very nice. God, these packets are so stiff to open. You'd expect it to be like a paper packet, like like those tea bag, tea bag packets you get in like a, a coffee shop or something. This one's going a, a bit more red, a bit more summer fruity. This flavour was uh, strawberry, watermelon, and lime. Oh, this is a very overpowering watermelon smell. Oh, oh, that is much nicer than the um, than the mango, pineapple, and blood orange. I, I put a screenshot earlier. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but at the very, very bottom of each sachet down. Uh, down here, you've got loads of different ingredients. They are very, very small, and my eyesight, you know, <laughs> I can't see that small. Uh, so I'm sure that there are differences down there. What they are, I couldn't tell you because uh, I can't read it. It's very. This flavour is very watermelony. I can't really, I can't really taste the, the, the strawberry. I can't really taste the lime either. Oh, actually, maybe I can taste the lime. Just offsets it a bit. My um, my vocabulary isn't very well refined enough to pinpoint flavours, <laughs> except it tastes really sweet and really watermelony. Mmm, 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 mmm. I like that one. That's been my favourite one so far. This one does actually taste quite refreshing. If it was colder, maybe if you make the drink in here, pour it into a glass, put some ice cubes in there. You'd have a nice, you'd have a nice summer, summer refreshing watermelony drink. That was nice, that one. Final flavor, honeydew melon grape and raspberry. I'll tell you what the blue raspberry reminded me of. Panda Pops. Who remembers Panda Pops? Not sure if you've got them in America or they're called something different. They were like a, a sugary kids drink that cost like 10p or however much it cost, 20p from the shop. And it was like in this bottle about this big and they were pure sugar. Blue blue raspberry lemonade is what you would think of if someone says, what do you think the colour blue tastes like? The colour blue tastes like this. Uh, but this flavour here is the honeydew melon, grape and raspberry. You can really tell the grape. Like that traditional Jolly Rancher sugary grape taste. Without having sugar actually in the drink. So there you go, that is a uh, first look at the Beyond NRG energy supplement drink. Now on the actual box for the Vortex, it does say the world's most advanced supplement bottle, no shaking required. So they're very much seeing this as an energy supplement. Very much like, I don't know, you would take in the morning when you take all your vitamins and your minerals and all, the, all of the pills that makes you, makes you healthy or a, a, I don't know, glass of Barocca or something like that. This is what this is reminding me of. Um, the natural ingredients is a nice touch. I very much like the fact that they're highlighting that they're using natural ingredients. And if I'm going to be completely honest here, I've not studied a can of Monster and a box of this in super amounts of detail um, before making this video or before having a look. So yes, while Monster Energy probably has natural ingredients in there as well they don't i don't know if they advertise it but it's the sugar it's just the amount of sugar that that you consume in in drinks and i'm all for drinks which um which don't have that yeah it gets a tick, big big tick in my box in terms of flavors good very very good i've there was, a, of course, a couple of favourites. This tasted like my childhood, drinking Panda Pops <laughs> as a kid. The blue uh, 
blue uh, raspberry lemonade. The shaker feels very, very robust. I love the battery power on this. You don't have to shake it. And yeah, it's definitely something that even if you're not a gamer, you could still use something like this to take to the gym or to put your, your protein powders in and stuff like that. Take on a run with you or even just carry it around normally with water in it. Take it to work. But of course, it's got that gamery vibe. And I think gamers are a great focus for this product as well. Just to break that stereotype that gamers have of of um, being unhealthy individuals. They're drinking natural natural supplements rather than these monster drinks and energy drinks and, and things like that. So I'm all for that. I am absolutely all for that. And they've done a great job with their branding. Are they going to keep up with something like G Fuel? Again, I don't know enough about G Fuel. Not looked into it, but uh, but certainly on branding, it's enough to keep up with G Fuel. They just need some influencers now. <laughs> they need, or they are. They're sending us. They sent us all of this to uh, to test. So they are pushing out towards the influencer market, which is great. Get on that marketing hype. Am I going to continue drinking it? Yeah, probably. Maybe not at once. I couldn't bosh this. It's a little bit too sweet just to just to drink fast. Although I have taken a a, a good number of sips for this video. I'm going to leave that video here. I didn't want it to be too long. Um, because it's, it's a taste test of, of some drinks. But uh, thanks very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, uh, hit that like button. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below if you've ever tried out Beyond Energy Drinks or Energy Supplements or uh, you're new to it. If you want to ask a question, then uh, fire away. We do also stream over on Twitch from 8.30 till 11 on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday British time, that is. 8.30 p.m. till 11 p.m. If you want to come and ask us a question over there, come in and join in on Twitch. So, uh, so yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Woo! Alert. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go play some games. I wonder how many kills I'll get on, uh, on Counter-Strike now. And CSGO. Or Valorant. Or Warzone. I wonder how many kills I'll get. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.